Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And in this next question, dealing with vector addition. So we have vectors A and B, and we're told that they're unit vectors. And we're also told that the angle between them is 30 degrees. And then we have to calculate this vector, 3A minus 2B. So a couple of things to note here. Notice that we're told that A and B are unit vectors. So what does that mean? That means the magnitude of A is 1. The magnitude of B is equal to 1. We're also told the angle between them is 30 degrees. Now, how you measure an angle between two vectors is when both vectors are connected at the tails, right? So you connect both vectors at the tails. We can let this be A, we'll let this be B, and then this here ends up being 30 degrees, like that, right? This has a magnitude of one, this has a magnitude of one. And so using this, we can draw 3a minus 2b. So this here, by the way, is going to be a vector itself. We're going to draw it first in its components, this 3a minus 2b, but then there's going to be a resultant vector. So the way we draw something like this, we would take this vector a, multiply it by 3. So let's say maybe like this is 3a, like that. And then we're going to have minus 2b. Now, let's say that before we get into the negative, let's say that it was plus b. And let's say it was just a plus b like this. Well, we would have when we're adding vectors, we have to add them from head to tail of each. So we would first draw a. And then adding b, we would take this, we would take the tail of b and attach it to the head of A. So it would look like that right there. So it's kind of like we, take, uh, we took this and we shifted it like this, right? And so the angle over here, what's the angle going to be? Well, using properties of angles, we know this angle is 30. So if we kind of shift this, we know this angle is going to be 30. So this angle is going to be 180 minus 30, which would give us 150. Now that's if we add b, but what if we were to subtract b? What would happen then? Well, this is a plus b. Well, if we're subtracting b, well, it's just going to go the other way. So instead of going this way, it's going to go this way. So this here would be minus b, like that. And so applying that intuition over here, 3a minus 2b, plus 2b would go this way, minus 2b is going to go this way. This is going to be minus 2b. Now, going back to this, if this is 30, then this is also going to be 30 over here. So this here is going to be 30 degrees, right? So we took this, shifted it, Right, this ends up being 150, but then if we go the opposite way, this ends up being 30. And no matter what amount we multiply A and B by when we're adding and subtracting them, these angles are always going to stay the same. This is going to end up being 150 if you're adding A and B or adding different magnitudes of A and B. And this angle is going to be 30 if you're subtracting B from A, if you're going A minus B or any sort of magnitudes attached or any um, constants attached to those vectors, if you're subtracting them, that angle is going to stay constant, right? So this is going to be that 30 degrees. And so we have this that's formed. So what's the resultant going to be? Well, the resultant vector is going to be, it starts at the tail of the first vector and ends at the head of the last vector. In this case, there's two vectors that we added, but there could have been three. Same thing would apply. You would just go from the beginning, the tail of the resultant and the tail of the first vector attach, and then the head of the resultant and the head of the last vector 
attach. Right, and we added these. It's like 3a plus negative 2b. And so this is the triangle we end up with. So if we want to find the magnitude, we would be finding the length of this side. And then if we want to find the direction, we can find this angle over here. And this angle is going to be relative to vector 3a or just vector a. Vector a is like over here, right? Relative to 3a or just vector a itself. You could see the solutions for a question like this in textbooks giving this angle relative to this or relative to that. Both of them are going to be the same thing. Now, this, just want to give a heads up, this minus 2b, this side isn't like negative 2. So if I show this, what's the magnitude of 3a going to be? Well, it's going to be, we could take out this 3, or we could take like the absolute value of 3 times the magnitude of A. Absolute value of 3 is 3. The magnitude of A is 1. So the magnitude of 3A is going to be 3. So the magnitude of this is equal to 3. And then this over here, the minus, the magnitude of minus 2B, that's like, the absolute value of negative 2 times the magnitude of b. What's the absolute value of negative 2? It's just positive 2. And then the magnitude of b is 1, so the magnitude of this ends up being 2. So this minus 2, it's more so for drawing the appropriate line, for the direction of it. But in terms of the magnitude, you still look at it as an absolute value. It's, the magnitude is always going to be positive. And so if we draw just sort of a regular triangle, this would be like 3, this would be like 2, and we're solving for this, that's 30 degrees right there. We're solving for this, and then we're solving for that. If you want to take this and just make it as an abstract triangle, usually that's what I do. It just kind of gets rid of a lot of clutter here, quote unquote. Right, so we can just solve that triangle. Now, um, let's solve for r first. So we can use cosine law. So r squared equals the sum of the sides squared minus two times both sides times cos of 30. And when you do those calculations, you end up getting 2.607695. That's equal to r squared. So square rooting both sides, we end up with r equaling 1.615. So this here, that's going to be the magnitude of that vector. The magnitude of the resultant, which we just represented as r, but it's basically the magnitude of this vector over here. And that's equal to 1.615. Now, they're not just asking for the magnitude, they're asking for the vector in general, so we have to provide a magnitude. We also have to provide a direction. So again, we have to solve for that theta. And we could solve for the theta with sine law, so we could go sine of theta over two, right, opposite side to the angle, equals sine of 30 over 1.615. Right over that side that we just solved for. Then from here we could cross multiply, so we'd have 1.615 times sine theta equals 2 sine 30. Divide both sides by 1.615. And then we'd end up with sine theta over here, and then if we want to get the theta by itself, we would inverse sine, whatever this ends up being. You're going to do this all in one shot in your calculator. Just make sure you put a bracket around all that. Right? And when you do that calculation, you'd get approximately 38 degrees. So the final answer notice how we're not given any specific directions here, like north, south, east, west. So when we're giving the direction of the resultant, we have to do it. Let me write out these vectors again. 
So this is like A, this is like B, and the resultant is kind of going downwards like this, right? And we know, let me maybe put the A here, we know that this angle here, that's the angle we just solved for, that's the 38 degrees. So a couple of different ways to state the direction of this. We can say that 3a minus 2b is 38 degrees relative to vector a, right? Relative to this vector, the resultant is 38 degrees away. We can also say it's relative to 3a, 38 degrees. So let me give you a couple of different ways this could be shown. Just so you're not getting confused in your textbook in case they give you a different answer. Right? All of these pretty much mean the same thing. Because remember, 3a is just this a extended. This angle is still going to stay the same. So you might see the solution saying 38 degrees relative to A, 38 degrees relative to 3A. Another thing you may see, usually they give the smallest angle, but if you think about it, if we start at A, we can also go the other way, right? So we can do 360 minus 38. 360 minus 38 would give us what? Um, 322. So we could say 3a minus 2b is 38 degrees or 322 degrees relative to a or 38 degrees or 322 degrees relative to 3a. Maybe if this was like a multiple choice question, they might not put the 38, but they may put the 322, right? Just to sort of trick you. So usually solutions will have the smaller angle though, not the larger one, but just in case, wanted to point that out. Now they may also make it relative to B, to this vector over here. And if they do that, we know that this angle, uh, it's kind of go a lot going on here. We know that this angle here is 30 degrees. So if we do it relative to B, then we would say the resultant is 68 degrees relative to vector B, right? So it could say 68 degrees relative to vector B, right? Or vector 2B, um, I guess they could even... Uh, now that I think about it, they could even extend it this way. So there's just a bunch of different ways they can say it. So let's go through all these. So they could say 68 degrees relative to vector B. You could also, again, subtract 360, right? So it can be, instead of this 68 degrees, it can go this way. So they can say 360 minus 68, which would give us, um, 292, right? So they could say it that way. And then even another way they can say it, let me uh, kind of draw this out, is um, let's say we have A, we got B, and then we have this resultant. Well, because we're dealing with minus 2B, they might say relative to minus 2b like that and we know this is um this is 38 we know this is 30 so we know this is going to be 68 so this is 180 over here so then this angle would be 180 minus 68 which would give us 112 degrees right so this resultant can be 112 degrees relative to negative to be right so I just want to kind of show you these different ways because a lot of times students 
will get the right angles, get the right diagram. They'll do it right, but then the solutions might show something else. And then they don't see the angle that they solved for, which was the 38 degrees. And they may think they did it wrong. But if you kind of just analyze it a little bit more, then you notice that you did it right. Right, but again, the most popular one is going to be this 38 degrees relative to A. That's usually what the solutions are going to show, but they may show something different. So I just wanted to show you how you can come up with these different directions.